written or edited not less than 37 books in three languages. 19 in English, 13 in Marathi and 5 in Hindi. Besides over 300 plus research papers and articles. On behalf of we all, may I request Honorable Dr. Narendra Zadov to address this gathering virtually. He is present with here on the Zoom mode. Dr. Narendra Zadov, please. Let's give a big round of applause to sir. Aplala Narendra Zadho Sarana. Rohit, Narendra Zadho Sarana Apan. Spotlight Kuria. Sir, Spotlight Madhya Hat and unmute is Halilia Hat. May I start speaking now? Uh, yes, sir. A little louder, sir. It is a great honor to be yes, the sir. chief guest uh, for this book release uh, ceremony where English translation of Anna Bhau Sathe's uh, great novel, Fakira, translated uh, from Marathi into English by Professor Baliram Gaikavad uh, and brought out by Penguin Publishers uh, is being released. Uh, I could not make it in person Nevertheless, I'm glad that I'm able to join online for this uh, landmark occasion. I thank the organizers, uh, Sahitya Ratna Anna Bhau Sathya Adhyasan Kendra of University of Mumbai for organizing this function. Uh, at the very outset, I congratulate Penguin Publishers for bringing out this remarkable book and for having done such a great job. Most importantly, hats off to Professor Baliram Gaikawad. I heartily congratulate and commend Dr. Baliram Gaikawad for translating Fakira into English in a very perceptive manner. Translation is generally a tricky affair. As they say, translation is either faithful or beautiful. If it is beautiful, it is not faithful. And if it is faithful, it is not beautiful. Dr. Baliram Gaikawa deserves congratulations for creating a beautiful translation without being unfaithful to the original text. That is why he deserves our heartiest congratulations. Well, uh, friends, uh, Fakira is a landmark uh, novel in the entire history of Marathi literature and it has been written by a uh, legendary author, playwright, novelist, folklorist, poet and a social crusader, Anna Bhau Sathe. Fakira came out in 1959. I must have read it first around 1964-65 when I was in 7th uh, or 8th standard and I'll tell you Romanchakadambari <laughs> Manamade Khol Rutun Basleliai. Well, uh, Professor Baliram Gaikavad says in his uh, translator's note that, and I quote, he gained a degree of, under he gained a deeper understanding of the text of Fakira when he was pursuing his Fulbright postdoctoral studies at the University of Florida. Professor Gaikavad adds that it happened, and I quote him again, after reading numerous critical works on Fakira and African-American literature. This reference is very, very important. According to Professor Gaikavad, with the exposure that he had to African-American authors, activists, and community leaders gave him, and I quote, the socio 
literary insight and an understanding of the mutual inspirations derived by the African American literature and Dalit literature. I find this most interesting because that is what has been giving or that has given Dr. Gaikawar's translation of Fakira a much broader context. Indeed, the gravitas. I also find it very interesting that Professor Gaikawad regards Fakira as the first and foremost Dalit novel in Marathi. And he suggests that it is where the Dalit literature began in 1959. Now, this is somewhat different from the commonly held belief that Dalit literature began in the 1970s with seminal writings of Babura Bagul, Daya Pawar, and of course, Mahakavi Namdev Nassar. But I think Dr. Gaikawad is absolutely right in stretching the origin of Dalit literature backwards up to Anna Bhau Sathe. I say this because Anna Bhau's work like Fakira essentially rewrites the history of vulnerable masses, history of the oppressed and the depressed, history of Mahars, Mangs, nomadic tribes, and criminal tribes. Mahamano Dr. Baba Sahib Ambedkar is the inspiration for the literature. And it is no coincidence that Anna Bhau Sathe has dedicated Fakira to Dr. Baba Sahib Ambedkar and specifically said, and I quote, in the dedication, he specifically said, and I quote, to the mighty pen and gigantic social contribution of Dr. B. R. Ambedkar. So, Professor Gaikawar's contention certainly has a merit. In fact, I would like to stretch this process of finding the origin of Dalit literature right up to Mahatma Phule. Why? Because Mahatma Phule not only opened the doors of education for women and for the oppressed and the depressed and the backward classes, he also extensively wrote about the miseries of the oppressed and the depressed, about inhuman caste discrimination and their struggle for human dignity. It is important to remember here that Dr. Ambedkar regarded Mahatma Phule as one of his uh, three gurus. And this is where the roots of connection between Afro-American literature and Dalit literature, they become apparent. Many people do not seem to know the connection between Abraham Lincoln and Mahatma Phule. It is hard to imagine this, but on January 1st, 1863, when Abraham Lincoln signed the Emancipation Declaration, which paved the way for abolishment of slavery in the United States, it had resonance in India as well. Within a decade, remember, those were not the days of uh, communication like what we have today. But within a decade after the Emancipation Declaration, Mahatma Phule described the conditions of Dalits in India as one of slavery. Comparing the historic dis disfranchisement of untouchables in India with slavery in the United States. Indeed, 
his magnum opus titled gulam giri which means the slavery was you know it was titled gulam giri which means slavery and what is the dedication of that book i have to read this dedication this is the book published in 1873 barely a decade after the emancipation declaration he says in the dedication mahatma phule says dedicated and i'm quoting from the dedication dedicated to the good people of the united states as a token of admiration of their sublime disinterested and self sacrificing devotion in the cause of negro slavery and with an earnest desire that my countrymen may take their noble example as their guide in the emancipation of their shudra brethren from the trammels of brahmin pride unquote well that shows the connectivity and the connectivity between the african american literature and the dalit literature it can be traced back to 1873 to mahatma phule uh, if we stretch further backwards the origin of uh, dalit literature at the end of the translator's note dr baliram gaikavad says and i quote it has become necessary to translate some major text of dalit literature uh, for global cognizance and attention while i completely agree uh, i would like to offer a rather unsolicited advice please try to get fakira published with some of the top of the line publishers and do not confine yourself to only academic publishers this university press or that university press my book am sab apna me and its penguin version which was not a translation but which i had rewritten myself uh, completely titled outcast came out by penguin the year was 2002 and it was translated within a matter of 3 years it was translated into 15 languages including five foreign languages english french spanish thai and korean not because this happened not because it was published by california california university press but it was picked up in an auction by simon and schuster this is the gateway to global reach not some small time academic publisher uh well friends uh, before i close once again i wish to thank uh, penguin publishers for coming out with this translation uh, i would like to take this opportunity to suggest to penguin publishers that they should consider publishing translations of jeva mi zat chorli hoti aur maran swasth hota hai both by babura bagun some of these books have a potential to become celebrated the uh, part of the global literature exactly as uh, envisioned by dr baliram gaikwad i wish Dr. Balliram Gai Kavad, all the very best. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you very much, sir.